Hello and welcome to the Psychar Information Session. My name is Andy Dimitriadou and today I will be taking you through the short presentation organized by the ICAR Secretariat here in Rome. Today's presentation is about an ICAR service which we are offering to competent authorities around the world who are responsible for animal identification. I will explain what the service is all about and how it can help your institute ensure that the identification devices available in the market of your country remain compliant with the appropriate ISO and ICAR test protocols. Before we start, let me take a step back and say a few words about ICAR. As most of you will know, ICAR stands for the International Committee for Animal Recording. It is an international non-governmental organization with 117 members from 59 countries all over the world. The aim of ICAR is to promote the development and improvement of animal identification, animal performance recording and animal evaluation on farms. Among the services we provide to our members and to the international livestock community are guidelines publication, product certification, genetic evaluations, as well as knowledge sharing activities through our annual conferences. Our activities are summed up in our strapline, Network Guidelines Certification. ICAR develops these services with the help of its many subcommittees, working groups and task forces. One of ICAR's key subcommittees is that of animal identification. In the context of animal identification, ICAR offers certification services for both electronic devices, RFID ear tags, boluses and injectable transponders, and the conventional so-called visual ear tags. Manufacturers come to ICAR to certify their products to make sure that they comply to the latest ISO and ICAR standards. With respect to the electronic ID devices, ICAR is a registration authority for ISO. It is the only competent body authorized to register manufacturer codes in accordance with ISO standards 11784 and 11785. ISO 11784 outlines the code structure of RFID, while ISO 11785 covers the technical concept of RFID devices. Let us now focus on the field validation service. This service was developed in 2016 by the ICAR Secretariat with the aim to help competent authorities to verify the quality of the ID devices that are on the market currently. It is not a certification service, it is rather a way to ensure that the devices that are on the market as ICAR certified remain indeed compliant with the appropriate ISO and ICAR test protocols. The field validation is a tool specifically targeted at competent authorities for animal identification and is particularly helpful in the context of tenders and procurement processes. It is done through specific tests that are carried out by ICAR accredited laboratories on samples collected from the market. Let's see how the field validation works. The procedure is quite simple and straightforward. You submit an application to us requesting a test for a given device. We review the application and select a laboratory to carry out the test. ICAR has a list of accredited laboratories for this purpose. We send you the invoice that needs to be paid before the test begins and also the instructions for selecting the samples and sending them to the laboratory. You select the samples from the market and send them to the laboratory. At this point, we inform the manufacturer that a field validation test has been requested, but without revealing details about who requested it and for which product. The laboratory carries out the test, sends the report to us, and we submit it to you. It is important to note that a basic condition for the field validation is that samples are collected from local market stocks and not from the manufacturer's plant. The batch ID details must be provided. Samples must be collected by you and not by the manufacturer himself. These are prerequisites that help ensure the reliability of the service and should not be ignored. Some more details about the testing phase. Devices are tested against the current ICAR standards and the results are compared with original or previous results for the same devices. The test protocols used by the laboratories are 
the limited test protocol for RFID devices, and the preliminary assessment protocol for the conventional devices. You can find the details about the test protocols in the ICAR guidelines, section 10, which you can find on the ICAR website. Additional tests can also be requested under the condition that these are defined in other existing ISO or ICAR higher level test protocols. The cost of the additional tests will be added to the cost of the basic tests. Some further information about the service. As mentioned before, the field validation is not a certification service. Regarding the confidentiality, the test report is confidential and is under ownership of the competent authority that requested the test. The test report can be shared with the manufacturer only if the competent authority requests so. ICAR will not release any information about which devices are being or have been tested from which countries or markets. Some information about the costs. The cost depends on the applied test protocol, which differs between electronic and conventional devices, and on the selected laboratory. In general, the price differences among the laboratories are minimum. As regards the timing, the test results are generally available between one and three weeks from the day that the laboratory receives the samples. A note about the test results. If the results are positive, which means that the tested devices meet the ISO ICAR standards, we're all happy. But in case the results reveal problems, your options are two. You either contact the manufacturer directly asking for clarifications, or you ask the ICAR secretariat to do so. Each case will be handled individually according to the results of the test. If there is a case of misuse of the ICAR certification, ICAR will handle it appropriately. Please note that ICAR has the right to withdraw a certification if there is proof of violation of the conditions signed by the manufacturer when he applied for the certification. Please feel free to share the information with colleagues who might be interested and do not hesitate to contact the ICAR Secretariat for any request. You can find our contact details on the ICAR website, on the page About Us, Contacts, or you can contact us by email. The field validation service has been running since the last quarter of 2016. We sent a communication to competent authorities around the world in November. Now we're happy to see that there is growing demand for this service. But we are sure that more demand will be coming in as the service becomes more well known and as the benefits for competent authorities are becoming more and more obvious. Feel free to contact me confidentially if you want to discuss further at andy at icar.org. Thank you for watching.